Okay, let's get right into making an iMovie trailer now, shall we? It's a lovely day for it, so let's get into it. This is lesson two, basically. What we need to do is start iMovie and just check that on the top of the page that presents itself, let me see if I can start iMovie here. Mm, there we go. Now, the first thing that comes up, you'll notice, is create new. If you've made no movies before, that's all you'll have. But I've made a few movies before, things I'm working on here, obviously, and I have a few. The Projects tab is up here. Just make sure that's selected. You don't want media, you want Projects. It's the centre tab of the three. If this is your first move your trailer, you should have a blank screen with a square, a grey square with a plus sign in it. If you have already had a play around with, uh, with movies, then you most likely have a set of previous projects in place already. That's fine. The thing you want to do is create new. So click that plus sign. You'll be asked if you want to create a move your trailer. So naturally, select trailer. Now, you're asked which library you want to create the project in. The iMovie library is the default, as you can see. But select the drop down list and select iMovie Trailer Library. There we go. I'm, that's where you want. You don't want to get them mixed up with your movies. You want to store your project in the iMovie Trailer Library. That way it goes into the cloud and you can easily find it again on your iPad or even iPhone. And it's always there when you come back to iMovie. I want to backtrack a little here. Just before I click the OK button. You are not collecting images and videos yet for your trailer because you don't know the theme of your trailer. You haven't decided yet. The theme depends on the genre of your story. Romance, thriller, spy, adventure and so on. But don't be led astray by the trailer names you are presented with by iMovie. Let me have a look at those. Now you can see there You've got a, a, a number of different, where's that mouse gone? There we go. A number of different templates. They're vaguely related to books you might write at this stage as action, blockbuster, Bollywood, coming of age, expedition, epic drama. So somewhere in amongst those templates, there will be one that suits your book. It's the music behind the trailer that you should be interested in because you can change virtually everything else except you can't change the music or the order of the template sequence nor the duration for each segment. Let's just have a look at that. Now this could be a little noisy. You can preview the trailer without actually starting anything but what I want you to watch is the titles, the sequence, the images. There we go. That's just something I put in preference. Those images there you can change. That background you can't change. The music you can't change. That text there that you see coming up can change. Now that's the text you will need to draw from your premise. Okay, let's stop that there. Okay, once you've selected OK for iMovie Library, you're now presented with a selection of templates, generally with a useful example theme title. These represent well-tried storyboards. Like I say, don't be misled by the titles. It's the music backing that you're interested in at this stage and the background graphics. You may find you're using the romance template to visualise a spy thriller. 
Now you definitely do not want that. As you hover over a trailer template, you'll see the play button appear. Don't double click on that. Just click once to play the trailer as it is. And you can see them coming up there. Important point here. Ignore the images and built-in videos that play. They're just place markers. You'll notice though that they are mostly motion pictures, not single images, although some of them are. Listen to the music and see what the supporting background graphics are doing. The display text you can change and you can change the opening movie title background image to one of a small selection. The background supporting visual theme you can't change. Of course you can change the videos and images that make up the trailer graphics. These are the images or videos that fit into the square of your iMovie trailer planner I am supplying to you for planning. Shall we have a quick look at those? That should be easy enough to find. <laughs> 